Going only by the title, you might think that a movie called Saturday Night Fever, starring John Travolta as the king of the disco dancers, would turn out like a shotgun marriage between an old Elvis Presley flick and Welcome Back, Cotter. <laughs> but it doesn't. In fact, it's one of the best movies of the season, a real sleeper and a big surprise. Travolta turns in a great performance as a tough Brooklyn hardware clerk who doesn't get along very well, to say the least, with his family. Your brother, you wouldn't worry about him, job. Yeah. Every time you mention Frank Jr., you gotta cross yourself. Well, he's a priest, ain't he? Father Frank Jr., your brother. Hey, your mother doesn't have too much to cross yourself about these days. You're so jealous of Frank Jr. Oh, shut up, will you? Hey! Where are you? Boom! Look at his shirt. Watch his shirt, yeah. stupid. Oh, come on. Fast, fast. All right, come on. Man, your man, John. Yeah, go ahead. Eat, eat. I got more pork chops than more spaghetti. What do you mean you got more pork chops? I'm out of work. Yeah, well, as long as we got a dollar left, we eat good in this house. What? Yeah, I might even get a job myself. I tell you, Bill. 25 years in construction work, I always brought him a paycheck. What, six, seven months I'm out of work? And all of a sudden, what? You hit me. I'm talking back. All right, all right. I'm talking about getting a job and hitting all right, me. All right, no hitting, no slapping at the dinner table. Okay, that's the rule. Hmm? And you was the one who's hitting. Hmm. You never hit me before. Never. Not in front of the kids. One pork chop! One! Hey, Frank! It's disgusting, right? Sick. <laughs> Will you just wash the hair? Yeah. You know, I work on my hair a long time and you, and you hit it. He hits my hair. It's a real drag still living at home. Travolta has that bed sheet around his neck to keep his disco shirt uh, free of spaghetti sauce. He really hates it when his father hits his hair, but he has another world to escape to, the world of his dancing. Do, do you know the, uh, the tango hustle? Yeah, yeah. Here, let's try that. The girl is played by Karen Gorney, and they're rehearsing together for a big disco dance contest with a $500 first prize. They dance a lot, they talk a lot, and in a funny way, they fall in love, but the dancing comes first. Preview audiences have had a tendency to cheer that scene, and the film buffs might have known that it's all one shot. Travolta's character runs with a tough gang of semi-delinquents, and the movie says a lot about the world they live in. It's a world where everything is aimless, frustrating, and meaningless, except Saturday night. The movie is quite a combination, dancing and sex, violence and dreams, and songs by the Bee Gees. Oh, it's a very entertaining picture, and I think when I see a picture like this, I realize, hey, it isn't that tough to make a good movie. It's got, all it has to have is stuff that's real. That, dinner table scene. It's a little broad with the hitting going around in the circle, but that kind of thing does happen. And the dancing, they, all they did is capture a world that we haven't seen before. They go into this disco and you find out that somebody really gets off on dancing. It's a very real kind of picture, and I like it just for that. When you stop to think about it, just this season we've had two of the biggest stars on television really make their first starring movies, Henry Winkler and John Travolta. 
And I think Winkler's heroes try to do too much, try to hedge too many bets. And Travolta, in this film, goes all out, gives us this character 100%, and it really works. It's kind of like another Rocky. Well, also, it's an R-rated picture, and Travolta, who's on TV, didn't have to take a risk. He could have made one of these sweet and this and light PG or G pictures. It's a little risky. There's some violence and nudity and uh, rough language in the film. I, th I give the guy credit. So long until then, we'll see you at the movies. Thank <laughs> you.